All right, Yanni. So smoke has been announced for Mortal Kombat Mobile. Yeah, man, I am hyped. I'm seriously hyped. Now, do you even play Mortal Kombat Mobile? <laughs> Be honest. I, I, I did. I, I'm not going to lie. I did. Um, I actually stopped because it became a bit too microtransaction-y. And mm-hmm. it was very grindy, you know? There are a lot of fans of the game, but I I just feel like I just tap on the screen and I win. And, and I hate that. <laughs> Maybe, on the other hand, they made it a lot more, for lack of a better word, difficult um Mm -hmm. with the latest patches and stuff and it seems that new players are having a lot of issues getting into the game to be honest but i don't know like i agree with you it's a lot of just tapping on the screen for me the appeal was having certain characters that i don't get to play anymore like say tanya with a whole new design and stuff you know or that is cool yeah i can't believe i'm saying this but cosplay jackie briggs not because it's jackie but because i get to actually play as rain somehow (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) So the fact that they're adding Smoke as his own character, is that, I mean, how big of a deal is that for the Mortal Kombat mobile players? Well, I think it's a big deal, not just for mobile players, but even possibly for MK11 players. Now, firstly, Classic Smoke looks awesome, although they have had a sort of tease where, or at least another picture I think I've seen where it kind of looks like his MK9 look, his alternate MK9 look. So... I feel like we might not just be getting the classic smoke, but possibly something else too. And I think that's a huge deal, especially considering, you know, like we have loads of fans who play the mobile game for just like they're getting into Mortal Kombat. They don't know all the characters. And this could be one way that they sort of become aware of who smoke is, having possibly missed out on MK9. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this could give them some appreciation for the character. Yeah, and I guess it's cool because he is going to have his own move set, you know, as opposed to just being a, a character card or something like that, that like an augment in the game. Yeah, exactly. Less consumable, more move, more actual moves that he he gets to actually use for once. But I'm curious as to what direction they'll take him in. Because firstly, I'm happy it's Human Smoke. That's awesome. I've always preferred Human Smoke. He, smoke is one of my top three favorite characters, and. I, I'm curious to see if they go with a sort of MK9 approach to his move list. Because if they don't, I, as I said, I think that this could be some big news for MK11. Because a lot of the leaks recently have had smoke in some fashion. And I, I don't think it's a coincidence that smoke is being announced for mobile. And Ed Boon doesn't really tweet about MK Mobile so often, considering he's actually tweeting about smoke. I feel like there could be something more to this. I don't know. I mean, do we need smoke in Mortal Kombat 11? Yes. <laughs> How dare you even ask that question? <laughs> I, I feel like he wouldn't come with... Uh, they would have to completely redesign his movesets if they reintroduced him right now. Why do you think that? Because he's carrying over too much stuff from other characters to be in Mortal Kombat 11. It, with the the way that you play Mortal Kombat 11 and you can choose your setup, I, I feel like you could basically make a smoke character with somebody like Scorpion. I completely disagree, and I think you're looking at it from an MK3 standpoint, whereas Smoke has evolved entirely from that time. I had this discussion a while back with somebody where they said the same thing you did, and I explained to them that MK9's Smoke, and even MKX's Triborg Smoke, have really evolved into their own characters since. I mean, even looking at Deception, sure, Smoke was part of Noob Cybot, so it was Noob Smoke, but I don't know. I don't see how you can use Smoke's well, smoke. He has his smoke towards, smoke away. He's got his his sort of weird smoky teleport. He's got his um, his like where he throws smoke at you and f- causes you to fall from the top of the screen. Yeah, I think smoke has really evolved into his own character. I I wouldn't consider him one of my favorites if he hadn't. Well, I mean, he's kind of like a scorpion slash noob cybot character, in my opinion. I think we can agree to disagree on this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, why why do you think that? Um, just because it, his move sets are things that are are there, they're already existent. But like um, what? Smoke. Okay, more of night smoke. He doesn't have a spear, right? He does not have a spear. He's his so, own character well, entirely. What, what can he do? He can teleport, and he can teleport you. He and... use he manipulates smoke. <laughs> Duke Saibot does the same exact thing, but no, with oil. He does not. He doesn't He's even use oil. Smoke. He doesn't even use oil in MK11. <laughs> Noob Saibot at least can like 
create shadow people and stuff. Smoke doesn't even do that. I mean, he's the create, that, that, that's a point against yourself. <laughs> it smokes a lesser version of Noob Saibot. That makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> okay, Smoke and Noob Saibot are so similar that they made them a dual character. Like in what was it, Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon or Deception? Actually, the reason behind that is most likely that they didn't want to use the word Cybot, considering the situation with the co-creators at the time. And so they gave him a duo with Noob Cybot. <laughs> <laughs> and it fit into the lore perfectly. <laughs> um, oh, because Noob Smoke is what now, you're saying? I'm not, I'm not going to let you distract from the fact that you think that Noob Cybot uses oil in MK11. He has a clone. He doesn't use any <laughs> smoke. <laughs> He's oil smoke. That's what he is. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> okay, but Mortal Kombat Mobile is getting um, classic smoke. So we're probably going to be seeing Spears. And now we're not going to see his smoke noob powers. Now, this is actually an interesting thing. Because I, as I said, I'm curious to see whether or not he's given a sort of classic move set, Or if he's given his MK9, MKX, which I doubt. Or a whole, an entirely new move set, which could potentially hint at MK11. Okay, if that happens, then if he gets a new a, a new move set, then I'd say there it may be a chance that he's going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. Regardless, but... he has no <laughs> shared moves with Scorpion or new Cybot at all. He's, he's a palette swap of Scorpion. In Mortal Kombat 9, he's basically almost noob. We're, we're in 2020, bro. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 9 has been out since 2011. MK9 Smoke was a different character completely. He has no shared moves with Scorpion. The only thing you can even say was shared was a teleport, which the entire cast can do at this point. With that logic, is Ermac Scorpion? <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous that's all it is <laughs> that is what i think of your argument <laughs> <laughs> all right let's leave it up to the fans what do you think leave a comment below is is, is smoke worth bringing back or is he just <laughs> a reskin of everybody i would like else? to remind everybody listening that mk that smoke was the most voted the highest voted character to bring back since his uh, since they left him out in MKX. Remember that, everyone. And also, please tell Phantom how silly he's being. <laughs> I'd, I'd also like to uh, remind everybody, you can either vote that Smoke is just a reskin, or you can vote on something stupid, like Yanni's right. <laughs> <laughs> and as a reason, I'm the lore master, guys. <laughs> no, All but right, seriously, guys, let us know below. what you think. <laughs> <laughs> so i guess we'll see um so mortal kombat mobile do you know when that release is coming out with smoke yeah. it's as, as far as i know it hasn't actually been confirmed as to when he's being released yet but uh knowing mk mobile it'll probably be out within i'd say a month or so they're saying next update so usually they tend to bring them out every month a month after they say that as far as i remember um, I just think they need to make sure to give him his, his hair. <laughs> oh, man, I totally agree. I'm kind of sad that it's classic smoke and not MK9 smoke because MK9 smoke's design is one of my favorite MK designs of all time. So you're, I, I'm actually not a fan of the hair. <laughs> oh, I love it. I thought it was great. Like, uh, I had a whole L'Oreal smoke meme going. Like, I, it was beautiful. <laughs> you liked it for the comedy purposes, but not for... Oh, no, I think it looks <laughs> badass, man. Like, I think it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. Mortal Kombat Mobile is getting an update. Uh, they're updating to version 2.7, and with it is coming Classic Smoke. And so we'll see where that leads. Yeah, let us know what you think of Smoke making our turn. All right, I'm out of here. I'm stopped recording. I'm done. All right. <laughs> With your good. silly yeah. arguments. <laughs> this has been another Tarkat and Bite Size episode, but uh, we're looking forward to bringing you the next episode of the Realmcast very soon. Please like, follow, subscribe to stay up to date with our videos as we continue to bring a lot more content to the channel. Thank you.